Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a full face of Fenty makeup, which is this look right here. You'll get to know my favorite products, you'll get to know the products that I don't generally reach for. And also I've created this very easy, not so like autumn, wintery kind of makeup look. I just felt like doing something with a bit of color. So if you guys wanna know my full thoughts on the full Fenty range, apart from the mascara because I genuinely don't have that, then please keep watching. So I'm gonna start off with some moisturizer. I'm gonna use the Fenty Skin. I've realized I've got some Fenty Skin things. The one thing that I really love about this is that it comes with like a refillable bottle. So this you can use again and again. And this is called the Hydra Visor Invisible Moisturizer Broad Spectrum Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. And this has also got niacinamide in it, which is really, really good for people who are of color. So POC people friendly. And I actually really like this moisturizer. I feel like it's just very lightweight and it does have a slight scent to it. But the really, really, really beautiful thing about this is even though that there's an SPF in here, you don't get that weird kind of like cast on your face. And it's actually really lovely to wear like by itself as well. So really, really, really like that. So Fenty has two primers, this one being the soft matte. This is like the original one. And then this one is the soft silk, which came out a little bit later. Out of both of these primers, my favorite has to be the soft matte. And that's because I've, I think I've gone through like four bottles of this. This is so, so, so good. But I'm feeling like I want to have glowy skin. I'm kind of over matte skin at the moment. I really just like my skin to look glowy and healthy so i'm gonna go in with this one which is the soft silk which is less on the matte side and more on like the hydrating side and i am filming in natural daylight so you guys can see exactly what this looks like on the skin again this feels really nice and lightweight it's not heavy and it's actually a really really nice pro i do say like i like the other one more but i feel like i just haven't given this one a chance you know but this is my skin all prepped. Now I'm gonna move on to foundation. So Fenty Beauty have two foundations in their range with a really, really beautifully inclusive skin tone range. And I've got my shades right here. As a lot of you out there, I've been indoors a lot. I haven't really been outside, I haven't been on holiday or anything like that this year for obvious reasons. So I feel like I've not really got much color on my face. So I'm really sorry if this is off, but I'm using the shade 290 in both of them. This one here is the original foundation that came out first. And this is called the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And then this one right here came out a little bit later. And this one is called the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. So this is basically the matte version. And then this one is the kind of like not so matte version. So I'm gonna go in with this guy here. And just on a side note, this was honestly my favorite foundation for so long when it came out. I just loved wearing it all the time. I feel like the last time I wore the matte, um, I was like, wow, this guy is very full coverage and very matte. So I've got about two pumps on the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna start blending this into my skin. Actually, do you know what? I thought this would be a lot darker on my skin, but I feel like I'm definitely gonna be able to work with this. One thing that I really love about Fenty Beauty in general is that the products are very, very consistent. There might be a product that I just generally don't reach for or don't like as much, but as a whole, all of the products that they do are very consistent. They are very, very good. So I feel like it's a brand that you can't really go wrong with and it's a brand that you're gonna find something to match your skin tone, which is incredible. I'm just gonna get one more quick pump. It's not a super duper running texture, this foundation, but it's nice and lightweight and nice and hydrating at the same time. I would still say the coverage is pretty damn good on this foundation, and the one way that I can tell is how much I can see my freckles, and I can pretty much almost not see them. <laughs> so the coverage is really, really, really nice, but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. And it doesn't look matte or dry or cakey or anything like that. It's in fact actually really, really hydrating. I'm actually holding up um, their cream bronzer and I feel like I'm just gonna go ahead with this and do a cream contour. I do also have their matchstick. So this is the shade Truffle. And I might actually show you this on one side and this cream bronzer. On the other side, this is in the shade Macchiato, and I love, love, love this tone. This is a little bit on the darker side, so let's just do a bit of both on each. So I'm gonna do this on this side and this on this side so you guys can see the difference. So this one here is the foundation brush. These are best used warmed up on the skin, so I'm actually grabbing it and like warming the product up on the back of my hand, and then I'm gonna push this into the areas that I wanna contour. And the first time I used these matchsticks, I put them straight onto my skin, and I was like, Ugh. 
I don't like this at all. These do actually come in a whole bunch of different colours, so you can actually use them as a foundation. I don't know if you can tell, but that's blended into the skin so nicely. And then just using the same brush, I'm going to take the cream bronzer. The last time I checked Harvey Nichols' website, I feel like I couldn't see this guy on there. This is probably one of my favourite cream contours slash bronzers. The other ones that I really like are the Huda Beauty contour, Tantor, I think it's called. That's also really, really good. Um, and this guy, they're my two favourites. My actual ultimate, ultimate favourite cream contour of all time is the Becca low light sculpting medium which they don't do anymore which i'm so sad about but that has to be like my holy grail but it's just really sad that you can't get it anymore but these are like my next favorite seeing as i can't get the other one the tone of this is um a little bit lighter than the other side so i'm just trying to like blend everything out to make it look as even as possible i'm gonna get a little bit all around my lips and also I'm just gonna hug my nose as well to give that a bit of a shape I'm just going to go over with, this is actually from Fenty as well, they're like beauty sponge, just to make sure everything's blended. And that is all the cream products on my face. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see real close up. And this is what my skin is looking like. So this is the side that I use the matchstick, and then this is the cream contour side. They both look really beautifully like blended into the skin. You can't really see where anything starts and stops, which is what I love about cream products. I just generally really like using them. Um, oh, right, so moving on to concealer. I'm taking the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. I like my concealer to be a little bit brighter than my base, so I'm using the shade 180 here, which I can't remember the last time I used this, but we're going to give this a go because I can't remember my thoughts on this, if I'll be completely honest with you guys. I'm just going to get this onto the usual areas that I want to highlight and brighten a little bit on my chin and my forehead this is quite like thick in consistency like if i if i pop this onto the back of my hand so you can kind of see the consistency of this is quite thick i really really like the sponge because the tip of it has been cut off so you can really get close up underneath the eyes like this and that's just really nice and brighten that whole area up it kind of reminds me of the nars creamy concealer but like a slightly thicker version of that like if you were to like amp that up a notch this is what it would be okay i'm actually gonna put a little bit of eyeshadow on so i'm just gonna use this to prime my eyelids now i feel like i can start setting everything in place i've got two setting powders here this one is the loose powder this is called the pro filter instant retouch setting powder and this is in the shade banana and then the other powder that i have is this one here and this is called the invisimat blotting powder i actually really 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 like this to set my under eyes i feel like it gives this really beautiful like blurring effect let me show you i'm gonna zoom you guys in again very very quickly and i'm gonna use the brush that it comes with as well give it a quick little twirl and tap and pushing that in underneath the eyes i actually haven't picked this powder up in so long and i have a feeling i'm going to fall back in love with it again so i don't know whether you guys can tell on camera but this side of my eye just looks so blurred and quite matte um, compared to this eye and this also lasts so long on my skin and I never really tend to get very oily whenever I use this because I've got to be really careful with setting powders because sometimes I feel like I can get a lot of oil come through like especially in like my nose area whereas this one doesn't do that and just so that I'm trying as many products as I can for you I'm going to use the banana powder on the other eye this is actually the first time I'm using this so I'll be giving you my first impressions on this I like to pick it up on my sponge and then press the product into my hand and then just start pushing that into the skin. Whatever's left, I'm just using that on my chin and forehead. A little bit around my mouth. So this banana powder has got like a bit of a yellow undertone to it. And this one is pretty much like a universal color that anyone can use. So I do find that this one has got a little bit more coverage on this under eye, purely because of the color of this powder. Whereas this one's looking a little bit more brighter and lighter. Time for bronzer and I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is Island Ting. And this is the Sun Stalker Instant Warmth Bronzer. I think if I had to tell you guys like my least favorite product from Fenty, it would have to be the bronzers. Cause I just feel like there are so many other 
amazing bronzers out there. And I personally find this bronzer shade that I have, and I'm pretty sure the other ones that I did pick up when I placed an order, they were all quite on the warm side, whereas I like my bronzer to be more on like the neutral side. But I'm just gonna get this on in all the areas that I contoured, basically. I don't think it's um, the easiest bronzer to blend. I do find that you have to use like a small amount because if you do end up using too much, it can look like it's skipped a little bit. But as long as you don't go like too overboard with the bronzer, I feel like you can still make a really beautiful base out of it. And this brush that I'm using is the bronzer brush as well. I went on like all my cream products were done, but I'm actually gonna go in with um, the Fenty Cream blushes because I love the consistency of these. This is what I mean about the brand just being so consistent overall. I feel like there are so many consistently good products throughout the whole range. So these guys are the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush. This one here is the one that I used pretty much all summer. This is called Petal Popping. And this shade is called Fuego Flush. And Nina V got me into this color because she was like, have you tried the orange? And I was like, no. She's like, babe, you need to try it because it's beautiful. And this really is stunning on the cheeks. I'm thinking I'll show you guys both of them on each cheek because then that way you get to see what they both look like. I am using the face brush from Fenty. So I'm gonna get the Fuego Flush on this eye, eye, cheek. It's just like a really nice subtle orange shade. I'm just gonna use the same brush because I'm gonna try and even these tones out in a second. Um, but I'm gonna use Petal Popping on this cheek. It's just got such a beautiful natural flush tone. And what I really love about these cream blushes is that you can put them on top of powder and they won't like disrupt the makeup underneath. They are really lightweight and very, very easily blendable. Um, but as you can see, this orange looks quite like in your face, in the pan, but on your skin, it just looks so beautiful. And again, this is petal popping on this cheek. It's gonna do a little bit of a evening out of both of the tones. So they look similar. So last step for the base is highlighter. Now when it comes to highlighters for Fenty, I wish they had a highlighter that was like just one color in one pan, but they do this kind of like double pan situation, which I generally don't tend to go for. I really like a highlight to be like one color. I don't generally like them when they're like, um, like a whole bunch of different colors, like shaded. This is um, the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in the shade Afternoon Snack, which is this one here and Mo Honey. And uh, I think I'm just gonna kind of swizzle both of the tones like that. And I'm gonna get it onto the tops of my cheeks. I do have to say that out of the like cheek products, my favorite has to be the cream blush and the powder side of things, so the bronzer and the highlight. They're not like my go-tos, if you know what I mean. But they are like still very beautiful, but they're just not my, um, they're not my like favorite consistency. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. It's not like the creamiest highlight that I've ever seen. It is quite intense, because I did kind of go over quite a few times, but um, it's not like quite creamy, like how I like it, if you know what I mean. But everyone has different preference, and that's totally fine. But this is what it looks like close up. And the brush that I used for the highlight is the highlight brush. And I quite like that it kind of fits in like the curvature of like your cheeks. I think I'm gonna go in with eyes next. I wanted to show you guys my favorite eyeshadow from her range, and that is actually this highlighter. This is called Penny For You Thoughts, and it is so stunning. Whenever I wear this, I get so many compliments. But then as I was looking through my like Fenty Beauty stash, I realized I've got this guy right here, which is actually a highlight. And then this tone right here, which is called Poolside, is like screaming my name. So I'm like, do you know what? Let's just do something a little bit colorful, and I'm gonna get this onto my eyes. I'm taking the blending brush and I'm just picking that up. And then I'm just gonna start pressing it onto my eyes. It is very, very beautiful. And there's very, very minimal fallout as well. I'm just doing the same thing to the other eye as well. And then to blend this out, I'm just gonna take the same bronzer that I used in my eyes. And I'm just gonna get that into the crease. I feel like after blending this into the crease, it is taking some of the eyeshadow off my eyelids, which I'm just gonna go and fix and add a bit more on top. Do you know what? I'm gonna use my finger instead. I feel like that's much better. 
I very quickly filled in my eyebrows and I used the Brow MVP and this is in the shade Medium Brown. The one thing I really love about this formula is that you can't go too heavy on the brows. Like you can press quite hard and the pigment isn't going to be like extra in certain areas. So I feel like you can really play around with the product to get your eyebrows exactly how you want them. So on one side you get the product and then on this side you actually have the little brush which I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of. I'm so used to using a spoolie that this is always a little bit interesting whenever I get this out. The one product that I don't have um, from the Fenty Beauty range is the mascara. So I very quickly popped on a different mascara. If I find any really good reviews of the mascara online, I will leave a link to it in the description box. But now I'm going to move on to lips. I love a good liquid lipstick. So I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna have to use this. So this is Uncuffed and this is called the Stunner Lip Paint. And I love this shade so much. I love the packaging of it. I love the consistency, the formula, even the longevity of this liquid lipstick. So I'm just gonna very quickly get this on. And this is honestly one of my favorite colors as well. It's a very beautiful like I want to say like mauvey pinky nude. It's not like a true nude, which I'm not the biggest fan of a true nude these days. I quite like um, a very kind of mauvey tone. I don't know whether you guys can see, but the applicator is really beautiful on this. And I feel like it fits into not only your lips really nicely, but you can create a really nice lip line without having to use a lip liner, which is always good. I honestly forgot how good these liquid lipsticks are. I also really, really love the red shade that this Stunner Lip Paint comes in. It's beautiful. And I would leave this makeup look right here, but I am gonna go in with a lip gloss, and that's only because this has to be my favorite lip gloss formula ever. Actually, I say that, but the Buxom lip glosses are incredible, but also, these. These are called the Gloss Bomb Lip Glosses and this shade in particular is Fussy and this is like my second or third lip gloss and I very rarely wear lip glosses because I don't generally like them but this one is the one that I go for whenever I fancy wearing a gloss so I'm just going to get this on to my lips and you can just see how glossy the lips look. They're not sticky at all. If anything, it feels like a lip balm, which is so great when it comes to a uh, lip gloss, because personally, I don't like sticky ones. I don't like heavy ones. I personally feel like I'm so fussy when it comes to lip glosses, but this fussy right here is, is something else. It's so, so, so good. And then to finish off, I love using like a setting mist. So this is called the What It Do, and this is more of like kind of like a glowy light setting mist. So I'm just going to get this onto my face. Actually, do you know what? I feel like I'm gonna use the fly liner. So this is the fly liner in Cousin Black. And, oh, hello. Basically, this is um, an ink cartridge type of vibe. So this actually looks like this. It's like a felt tip kind of nib. Got a really beautiful thin point to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a fake wing very, very quickly. I feel like I'm so rubbish at doing winged eyeliner looks now because my eyelids are not as high as they used to be. <laughs> So I'm just going to try and make sure it's looking as uh, neat and symmetrical as possible. And this, you guys, is the end of my Fenty face. There are so many incredible and consistent products within the range. I feel like if you were to pick anything up from the range, you're probably not going to be disappointed. There's a couple of personal favorites of mine and things that I generally don't kind of tend to go for. But overall, I do really, really love the brand. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this because I've been requested to do a full face of Fenty for a very long time now. And I'm sorry it took me so long to do this video, but I do hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I hopefully you made it till the end. But that is everything from me. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it because it really helps me out. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell, which is down there. So that way every single time I upload, you'll be notified. And that's generally two times a week. All of the products that I've used in this video will be linked in the description box so please don't forget to check that out let me know what a full face of like one brand that you want me to do next because I love doing videos like this I feel like I discover so many old favorites as well as new products so yeah I think that's everything from me I'm sending you lots and lots of love and light and I'll hopefully see you all in my next video bye